they have taken uh, kept him as probably a phenotypically female child because uterus and ovaries were found on laparoscopy what we'll just try to see is we have adjusted the focus that is rectus those are the inferior epigastric arteries and if we come down we don't see the cord here so this is how it differs from a in a in a male and a female in a male you will see cord here mix of vessels and uh, veins and uh, <coughs> was difference so you come down these are the inferior epigastric vessels that is rectus abdominis from cranial to caudal that is the linea that is these are the oblique muscles and as we go to the origin of them this is the origin you can see this is arteries originating here i'll put color for your easy understanding so again this is external iliac artery origin of inferior epigastric artery this is external iliac vein medial and origin of inferior epigastric <coughs> vein insertion sorry and here normally you see that cord we had seen in other patient the cord was seen as a, a hypoechoic it, it uh, not exactly tubular hypoechoic structure with multiple small uh, anechoic areas in it here you don't see it and we had seen that is the inguinal canal but you don't see any cord there so that's how uh, you look for the cord and whether cord is there or not you trace it on on uh, by using color doppler and higher resolution ultrasound so in non palpable testes this is quite important to see the cord and once you see uh, the cord you can track in the cord towards various locations if you don't see cord here consider that the testis is intra abdominal and then uh, you you can look at various locations as i mentioned earlier so so that's the inferior epigastric artery i have gone cranial again it goes superiorly and medially to the linea linea alba region or midline and if i come down then it goes laterally it is laterally coursed and then dips into the origin and here you see that in females it contains the round ligament so you will see some hypoechoic area but that will be not that big or that uh, oval shape like you see in the male uh, in males so that's how we differentiate there uh, i think we have done with the cases so we'll show you some uh, cases on powerpoint quickly and then vascular malformations this is just a laptop